Hello everybody, so for today's video, I went shopping at Walmart and set a budget for $100, so I tried not to spend over, but spoiler alert, I did go over $12. But they have so many cute pieces, Walmart has definitely stepped up their game, and yes, I'm that crazy girl, I went to two different Walmarts just to make sure I didn't miss out on anything, and yeah, let's go ahead and shop. So as you can see, they definitely have improved. Even their ads here look like they're from Torrid. So good job, Walmart. These tank tops are so cheap, um, and I love wearing these just to smooth out under like sweaters or whatever, or just to layer because I love having like a long tank under my clothes sometimes. Um, Walmart shoes, I'm not too crazy over, except one pair of boots that I really, really, really liked. You guys will see that at the end. But also earrings. Okay, girl, I wanted to buy all their earrings, but <laughs> I had a budget, so I did only purchase one pair, but I'm hoping to go back, and I'm hoping these suckers are still waiting for mama. Okay, so before I show you guys the outfits that I picked out and how much I spent, I'm going to just go ahead and take you to the fitting room with me. So I'm just showing you guys here that Walmart I struggle so much and have in the past even when I was younger buying jeans or any kind of pants at Walmart. Sorry, I can't talk. Um, I just have very wide hips and <laughs> not a small waist. So I feel like Walmart pants usually are good with like roomy leg area. But when it comes to the waist, they have like really small waist and I'm just wide all around. I am obsessed with this print right now and I feel like it's going to be throughout even the winter time but I just threw this in there for those girls that don't like uh, the button ones. I prefer the button ones. Alright, so thermals. These are so warm and comfy. I definitely always size up with warmer. I feel like uh, unless it's plus size, sometimes those are like true to size. But this shirt is like a 3X and I feel like it still doesn't look like a 3X. Usually I wear between a 1X or a 2X. And then here, I know it looks crazy guys, but I had to do the legging test. Do you girls ever do that? Where you just need to make sure they're not see-through because Lord knows I don't need nobody seeing my panties or lack thereof. <laughs> not, oop. this moment I thought I was gonna buy these earrings but I definitely changed my mind so let's get on to what I bought okay so for this first look I definitely picked up that beanie I loved it I did learn that it is a little hot. Um, I don't know if I can wear this indoors, to be honest. This is more like an outdoor beanie. Learned that the hard way because I was sweating while I was making this video. But the hat was $5.96. And then the thermal, I ended up switching the color, but I really am tempted to go back for that lighter blue color. This is more of a green. Um, and the shirt was, let's see, $8.88. My birthday is $8.88. <laughs> Um, and then I picked up this earring. I ended up going for this one because I feel like it has more colors. It matches more things. So the earrings were, let me see, $5.92. Now the jeans, any pants that I wear throughout this video are definitely not from Walmart because they just don't fit me. But the booties are. The I was not kidding when I was saying I was sweating. It was hot. So I just wanted to show you guys what the outfit looks like without the hat in case you don't want to wear the hat because now I learned I can't wear that yellow hat indoors. Um, so yeah, so the earrings just make everything else pop. Super cute. So as I started filming this outfit, I got distracted because there was a little tag that was popping out. And then I read it and it says extra button. So 
I have always had this problem where you wear button up shirts and then you sit down and you can see like your bra but I, that's why I like to wear tank tops well they have a secret button that if you button it you won't have that open exposure on your button ups so I thought that was really cool okay so this shirt I love absolutely love I actually want to go back for another color you guys saw me try it on the black and white one uh, but I was really trying to stick to my budget okay you could wear it just buttoned down you can tie it make it a little more fitted I picked up the 1x and it fits great I was trying on the 2x of the fitting room I don't know why I was doing that no wonder it was really big uh, but it comes in like the 816 W so that's probably why it's a little big so I bought three tank tops for $1.68 each I got the nude, the black, and the white. I'm wearing the black, I'm showing you there. I definitely, when I wear leggings, I don't like showing like my butt in case my panties show. But like I said, these leggings are definitely not from Walmart. The beanie is also not from Walmart, that's why I'm not gonna mention it, it's from Ross. But these booties are from Walmart. I actually was drawn to these shoes and I had to get them. They were $14.46. Okay, next outfit, the hat I've had for a long time, but this sweater is from Walmart and I absolutely love this sweater. I almost want to get it in another color, I just don't remember if they have it, but the sweater was $14.97, just wearing with the same old leggings. I love that it covers my bow tie, you know, so we don't have any incidents. And then I'm just showing you guys what it looks like without the hat. I actually wore this other day, so comfy. Okay, I got another pair of shoes for three reasons. One, to give you guys more options. Two, because I didn't buy any pants, so I figured that give you instead of just shirts, give you shoes. And then three, they are pretty cute, but um, I got them a seven and a half, and they came in wide, and I should have definitely downsized to a seven. So my leggings, like I said, not from Walmart. These are from a store called Von Mar. I forgot the brand, but they're so thick and very durable. I got them on clearance at that store. Definitely doing the legging test, just so you guys can see. They're so thick. They have pockets in the back, which I love. Okay, now this sweater I'm completely obsessing over. I don't know what it is, but I just love how like how it's not fitted, it's like baggy, it's just so comfy, so fallish. Love this sweater. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, the flats that I'm wearing with these outfits, the flats were $14.97. And then this sweater here was $14.96. I did my hair different just to show you guys more options and this uh, scrunchie actually picked up from Ross when I got that black beanie. Super cute. I wish I could find more of these but I love how my hair looks here. The old girl is giving you variety here. Popped on a different kind of hat so you guys can see. Um, now here are the close-up of the shoes like I said they are a little big might give them to my sister if she wants some um, and then I'm actually thinking about getting them in a seven because I do like them and I need some good flats right now just for the fall you know so what I don't agree with is why would they put this freaking sticker that I can't remove because when you go to somebody's house and you got to take off your shoe like that's embarrassing to like look at that sticker and I tried for my life to take this off and I couldn't. Here's a close up of the rain boot. Uh, they are so cute and I actually have some boots that I could use for the rain but I just thought this would be a fun way to switch up my outfits and like make them more cute and chic and you know. Um, Target has the same boot but for $10 more so I win. Okay, so I had a budget of $100 and give me a drum roll piece so I can announce what I actually spent. I spent a total of $112.71. So I did go over, but you gotta admit, everything is pretty cute. And I know I didn't buy any pants, but I really, in order to make an outfit like good, girl, you gotta have good pants, all right? Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want more videos like this, let me know down below where you want me to shop. Let me know what kind of budget you want me to hit. Like $50, $100, $200. Hopefully my husband doesn't kill me. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys know when I upload. And also don't forget to check out my vlogging channel. I'm doing Vlogtober, so go ahead and go. Everything will be down Everything will be linked down below, so go check that out. 
and I will see you guys soon. Bye!